in 1950, the world felt the magic of Disney animation again with the film Cinderella. This film encapsulated audiences with a unique world, wonderful characters, a beautiful princess, and of course, a wicked stepmother. A woman so cruel she would be remembered as one of Disney's greatest villains. But how did she get this way? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today, with the help of Alex, an expert in all things movies, I'm going to explain Lady Tremaine's full story. Hi Isaac! Before we get underway, be sure to check out my channel, All Time Movies, where we discuss theories, easter eggs, and movie reviews. So leave a like and a subscribe for more awesome film knowledge. Today though, I'm focusing on the world of Cinderella. In the original French story of Cinderella by Charles Perrault, the stepmother receives only a minor mention in the beginning. The creators of the 1950 Cinderella took this reference and fabricated the wicked stepmother into who we recognize today. Disney's Cinderella described Lady Tremaine as a widower from a good family, indicating she grows up as a noblewoman in the kingdom. The 2015 version of Cinderella expands Tremaine's backstory by explaining her upbringing led her to possess a keen feeling and refined taste. We also learn Lady Tremaine did have a true love. At some point, she had fallen in love with her first husband, Sir Francis Tremaine, master of the Mercer's Guild, and had two daughters with him. After many years together, Tremaine's husband died, which blinds her from the love in the world, deciding that day she would only marry in hopes of benefiting her daughters. This was the moment she could never turn back from. No longer would she empathize or yearn to help others. Lady Tremaine was in pursuit of growing her social standing by marrying her daughters to powerful men, believing true love and dreams were not real. Once Cinderella, whose birth name is Ella in the 2015 version, loses her mother, Cinderella's father attempts to gain happiness in his life again by marrying Lady Tremaine. In the beginning, Lady Tremaine did not seem to bear any particular animosity towards her stepdaughter, for she may have been cold, but she had no reason to hurt her, at that time at least. In fact, Tremaine seemed to make their situation better by focusing on restoring life and laughter to the estate, which had been somewhat silent after Ella's mother had died. She hosted elaborate parties full of nobility, wine, excess, and gambling. However, during one party, Lady Tremaine overhears her husband tell Ella he misses his first wife and sees her within Ella. It was then that her jealousy and spite towards Cinderella's beauty and charm was incited. After Cinderella's father departed on a trip, Lady Tremaine gradually revealed her true passive-aggressive nature. She forced Ella to give up her own room and slowly used her kindness against her and begun to make her work on more chores around the house until she was practically a servant. But her cruelty would only escalate with the death of Cinderella's father. Well, in the 2015 version, his death indicated the family could not live without his income. In the 1950 version, the financial struggle occurred because Tremaine wasted the family's funds on her feigned stepdaughters until the chateau was in ruins. Due to financial pressures, the servant staff once employed on the estate was dismissed, leaving only Cinderella to keep her home afloat. Lady Tremaine was a tyrant who employed devious and manipulative subtle methods to control Cinderella by maintaining a sham benevolence in her authority of the household. Her power did not derive from powerful magic or even physical abuse. Rather, she seeks to break Cinderella's will through punishments and by abusing her psychologically. She had a sinister glare, forced Cinderella to repeat chores until Tremaine was content, and treated her as nothing more than a slave. And don't forget the garden. Then scrub the terrace, sweep the halls and the stairs, clean the chimneys, and of course there's the mending and the sewing and the laundry. Through all of Tremaine's ruthlessness, she strongly believes in maintaining grace and self-control, and frequently reminds her daughters of this. But, on occasion, she loses control. In the Kingdom Hearts games, she's also shown to be quite reckless when she doesn't get her own way as evidenced by her summoning a creature known as an Unversed to kill Cinderella without even caring if the Unversed in question harms her or her daughters in the crossfire. Tremaine's cruelness keeps Cinderella trapped in the servants' quarters for years of her life, until a royal ball invites all of the kingdom's women to meet the prince. Cinderella begs to have the chance to go, but when she approaches Tremaine ready to meet the prince, the stepmother unleashes her daughters by showing Cinderella borrowed their clothing. They travel to the ball without Cinderella, and to Lady Tremaine's excitement, her daughters got the chance to present themselves to the prince. But during their meeting, he is mesmerized by another. 
Interestingly enough, that special girl leaves the prince after he falls madly in love with her, without even giving the prince her name. The kingdom frantically prepares for the king's search to find the girl who will fit into the prince's true love's glass slipper. And while Tremaine's daughters get ready, she figures out the truth. In the 2015 version, Tremaine blackmails the Grand Duke into making her a countess and ensuring her daughters marry suitable husbands, and in both versions, Tremaine locks Cinderella in her room so she could never have the chance to try on the slipper. This was truly Tremaine's cruelest act. She was attempting to keep Cinderella from achieving her happy ending just to gain economic security and hurt the young girl she was envious of. By Ella singing out the window in the 2015 version and the mice getting the locked doors key in the 1950s version, Cinderella puts on the slipper and marries the prince. In the 2015 Cinderella, Tremaine is said to have left the kingdom with her daughters and the Grand Duke never to be seen again. But Disney's animated Tremaine continues her cruel schemes while continuing to keep control over her domain. In the director DVD sequel Cinderella 2 Dreams Come True, Lady Tremaine has grown cold towards her own daughters, forbidding Anastasia from speaking to him again or even entering his bakery again after she falls in love with him. In the final director DVD Cinderella sequel, Cinderella 3 A Twist in Time, Lady Tremaine is given one last chance to find her own happy ending. After Anastasia discovers the fairy godmother and steals her wand, Tremaine undoes Cinderella's happily ever after to put Anastasia in place to marry the prince instead. Tremaine has reached a point where she will do anything to succeed. She attempts to murder Cinderella and she was implied to have become physically abusive towards Anastasia when she disobeyed her mother's orders. When Anastasia attempts to do right by Cinderella and admits she cannot pretend to be something she's not, Tremaine attempts to turn Cinderella and Anastasia into frogs, but the king reflects the magic onto her and Drizella. At the end of the film, we see their human forms returned, but in the clothes of scullery maids, indicating Tremaine was stripped of any nobility or wealth she had acquired and would be forced to work as Cinderella had been through her life. Lady Tremaine is remembered as a woman of darkness, possible of great cruelty and abuse, but as her character has grown, the lengths she is willing to go have only increased. For example, in other works like Once Upon a Time, she is willing to murder and crush anyone who gets in her way. Her evil behavior is also remembered in the Disney parks and meetups and crossover shows like the Hocus Pocus villain Spelltacular. Almost all of Tremaine's actions are motivated by a narcissistic hunger for prestige, and the remaining actions are led by envy. Tremaine expects her daughters and everyone else to be utterly obedient to her, and is willing to go to any length to make that happen. So what do you think? Is Lady Tremaine the cruelest stepmother, or does the prize go to another Disney villain? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you'd like to stay up to date with new magical videos, then click that subscribe button, and then head over onto my channel, All Time Movies, for more great movie theories, facts, and reviews. Thanks again to Alex for this awesome collaboration on today's video, and finally, thanks for watching, and have a magical day.